Well, whether you're a fan of John Gallagher Jr. from his Tony Award winning role in Spring Awakening, and who's not, yeah. or from TV's The Newsroom, you will be captivated by his new movie. Yeah, and there's no doubt 10 Cloverfield Lane will keep you at the edge of your seat. Take a look. I watched Howard build this place piece by piece for years. He was always talking about, you know, possible attacks from Al Qaeda, Russia, South Korea. You mean North Korea? The, is that the crazy one? So, yeah, that one. Um, and, uh, you know, poured all his money in this place, took to it like his life depended on it. Mm. And the star of 10 Cloverfield Lane, John Gallagher Jr., is here with us now. Welcome. Good to see Thank you. Thank you. It's great to be here. I'm Thank surprised you they let me. you out and about to talk about this because this movie is I super know. hush hush. But right before we came out here, J.J. Abrams mm -hmm. sent us a text saying, he did. Tell John he can talk about so everything, oh, well, especially the go. ending. <laughs> yes. So, what can, what, what can you tell us about <laughs> well, this can, super secret movie? I can tell you that uh, it's a movie that stars John Goodman, Mary Elizabeth <laughs> Winsett, and myself. Very basic things. It's about a young woman who gets into a car accident and wake up, wakes up in a bunker, in a fallout shelter with that's the two been of built you. with the two of us. Right. Yeah. Being told that the reason she's been brought down there is because some cataclysmic event has happened on Earth and the air is unfit for us to go up there. Right. So. So the rest of the movie is is mostly us just kind of trying to figure out what our next steps are going to be. Okay, yeah. that's good stuff. Those yeah. are details we didn't kind of get from the trailer. Okay. Well, yeah, and you <laughs> you film the majority of this inside that bunker with yeah, just we, the two of them. Yeah, we built this so. great set where it was just the three of us for most of the movie. Yeah. So what's it like working with them in such close proximity <laughs> for such a long time? It was great. If there's two people that you would want to be stuck in a in a bunker with, John Goodman and Mary Elizabeth Winstead are, are not bad candidates. They're yeah. lovely people and amazing actors. Yeah, well, what has your life been like trying to keep this such a secret? I mean, everybody cannot wait for this movie. I mean, I'm sure friends and family have been like, you know, <laughs> and what did you have to sign your life away? Well, I, you know, it, the, it kind of progressed naturally. Like when I first got involved, we weren't necessarily sure that it was going to have Cloverfield in the title. That's something that kind of developed over right. time. So fortunately for me, I didn't have to keep the secret very long. I didn't find out really about it until right before the trailer came out that it oh. was kind of having this. So I was in the dark for a lot of it too, which is probably for the best because I probably would have ruined it and <laughs> yeah, good. shot my secrets. mouth off some way and given it all away. Which again, you have the opportunity to do here. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's never too late. Just saying. <laughs> all right, well, something you can talk about is your return to Broadway. I mean, you, we all know that you won the Tony for um, Spring Awakening yeah. and you were in um, American Idiot, which was so amazing too. And oh, you're going you. to return in A Long Day's Journey in Tonight and it's yeah. such an amazing cast. What can you tell us about this show? Yeah, I'm really excited about this one. It's it's one of my favorite plays ever. It's a it's a masterpiece written by the great uh, Eugene O'Neill, who is kind of the founding father of American drama, and it stars uh, Jessica Lang, Gabriel Byrne, and Michael Shannon. I mean, which is an, an amazing yeah. group of actors to be uh, to be involved with, and I'm I'm very lucky that I get to share the stage with them. Yeah, For this is semi autobiography Semi yeah, it was very autobiographical yeah. about Eugene O'Neill's life and his yeah. family. The family in this play is uh, directly modeled after his own. Does this project bring you back to the stage after doing movies and television, or do you just yeah. kind of keep doing theater in yeah, different ways? Yeah, I haven't done a play in about five years, so, oh. so I, I feel um, uh, wonderfully out of practice <laughs> getting back into learning all that dialogue and, and doing it and you know night after night. But I love it. I, theater is where I started yeah. before I got into film and television. I did about seven years of theater in New York, and so yeah. it does feel like a homecoming. Those in are a your way. roots. Yes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. A different kind of a TV appearance recently too on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. <laughs> yeah. You know your sister's lifeline. I was. So. Yeah. My, oh, there we are. Were you are. nervous oh, yeah. about this? Yeah, my sister Joni got on, became like a, a contestant on. Um, I know, look different in, in all of these. Like, should cut this together. It'll be my reel to show directors how versatile <laughs> I am. <laughs> <how you> <laughs> but I was the lifeline for my sister, and uh, I, th thankfully I got the question right that I was needed to answer. Because my big fear was that I was going to get up and I was going to blow it, and then I would have never forgiven myself. And yeah. your sister probably, probably would have forgiven, forgiven you either. either. I mean, yeah. hello, yeah. she's trying to be a millionaire. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> but she did good. I was proud, proud of her. She's a public school teacher here in New York, so, nice. so well, she, her. yeah, so she, she really, she rocked it on that show. Well, you're a good brother to oh, help her out in that way and get yeah. it right. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, for more info on A Long Day's Journey in tonight, visit roundabouttheater.org and be sure to catch John in 10 Cloverfield Lane when it hits theaters this Friday. You do not want to miss it. No. Thanks, John. Thank you so much.